Hey guys, I've done a really quick tutorial for you today, which is my everyday morning routine when I get up and I think my eyes are looking a bit sunken in, I'm tired, so I want to brighten them up, um, but I don't want anything too dark or glittery, I just want to have a matte, a nudie, pinky, more of a pink than a nude, um, a matte pink kind of eye with a bit of dimension to it. I hope you like it and stay tuned if you want to know how to recreate it. Starting with foundation, I'm going to use my NARS um, Mont Blanc foundation and I'm going to put two pumps on the back of my hand like so and then using a Sigma Tapered Kabuki F86 brush I'm going to just blend that all over my skin just gently, I don't want to tug on my skin and create wrinkles but I am lightly putting that all over my skin. I'm making sure that I've got a good coverage because that's what we like. I'm going down onto the neck as well, just to make sure that your neck and your face are the same color. I'm not going to go too close to my eyes because I've got a concealer and a primer that I will use there so I'm just going to literally put it on the rest of my face. <sighs> I can breathe! It feels so much better when I put foundation on. Now I'm going to use the NARS concealer in the shade Vanilla. And because I want to look bright and awake and healthy, I'm going to use a healthy amount. <laughs> and apply it in the areas where the foundation slips during the day. I prefer to use a pressing motion with this, especially when I've just woken up, just because if my skin's already looking a little bit asleep and tired, I don't want to start dragging it. I want to be as gentle on the skin as I can. And I'm going to use a damp beauty sponge, oh I say sponge, a damp beauty sponge just to blend this out. And um, this is also a pressing motion. So I'm just going backwards and forwards just slightly pressing it into my skin to make sure it's all blended out fully. And then to set my under eye area I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Translucent Powder. So just shaking a bit off into the lid on my sponge and I'm going to set the rest of my face the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium. Now I'm going to prime my eyes with the Painterly Pro Long Wear Paint Pot by MAC which is my favourite eye primer to use. I'm just going to use my finger to apply this. I love this just because it's a really nice like nudie pink colour. It just covers up any slightly off colours on your eye like some veins and also it just holds your eyeshadow really well and it's really gives a nice base to blend all your eyeshadows together as well. The palette I've been loving at the minute is the Naked Urban Decay and when I just need to be quick in the morning I use my MAC 224. And I'm going to go in with the shade Limit, which is this one. Okay, so I'm just going to tap in there and then tap off. And because this is a synthetic brush, it really picks up a lot of pigment. Um, so you do need to make sure you tap off. And I'm just going to start working that into my crease. I love this tone, so I'm a bit liberal with it. As you can see. And then I'm going to use a, sm a slightly smaller brush, a MAC 217. And I'm just going to go in with some Nuna, which is this shade here. Um, similar sort of motion, but I'm going to keep it more concentrated just in the crease and mainly in the outer of it as well. So I'm just going to work it into this outer section just to give the eye some more of a natural depth. 
again just going into the shade and then tapping off lightly. And then using the same brush just going in the bottom lash line, um, firstly with the lighter colour and then with the darker colour. So with the darker colour just keeping it on the outside. Then I want to keep the eye matte today, I don't want to go shimmery, so I'm just going to go in with the shade Strange, which is the lightest colour in the palette. And I'm just going to pop it close to my lash line. Just to keep it fairly natural and matte, but um, brighten up the inner bit there. And then in the corner as well, and then pulling outwards. I'm just going to pop the same on my eyebrow just to have um, kind of a matte look. It's a bit brightening and there's a bit of definition in there as well. So this has like, been my go-to in the mornings recently when I've been waking up and thinking, my eyes look really tired, I want some colour, I want to keep it light, but I want to keep it matte and a bit natural at the same time. Um, so then I'm going to do my eyebrows, I'm going to use this little eyebrow pencil, no, I completely forgot, I actually just bought a new eyebrow pencil and I've never used a pencil to do my eyebrows before and I thought I wanted to try, so I got the Laura Mercier pencil in the shade Blonde, which sounds a bit extreme and I know I'm not that blonde, but um, I am really excited to use it. Do I use it now? Okay, I'm going to use it now. I haven't used an eyebrow pencil before and normally I use my eyeshadow brush with a dark shadow but you know what, I really want to try this. How could I forget about it? I'm going to brush my eyebrows out to start with and I know I'm doing things in kind of a weird order. I've not yet contoured and I haven't finished my eyes because I haven't put mascara on but I just got really excited about this pencil, which I forgot about, so I'm going to do this first. Okay, I'm going to have to practice using a pencil because to it at all. It's very different to using a little brush but I do like the effects that it gives actually. I kind of prefer it to the eyeshadow. Interesting. Can't be as flippant with these as you can with the brush. So I'm going to use my Benefit Push Up Liner, which is this winged one. I'm going to do a thin wing though, just because I do want to keep my eyes looking as bright as possible. The only issue with this eyeliner is that you have to keep it hot when you're just about to use it so that it glides on if you let it get cold. She's not gliding. Then I'm going to apply my mascara. I love this Dior Iconic Overcurl Mascara. Um, so I'm just going to apply this one. Okay, now I'm going to contour. And I've got a you. I'm so excited to use my new contour brush. 
I'm really excited. Yes, I went Laura Mercier shopping at the weekend. This brush is so soft. Oh my god, it's so pretty! And it's so soft! Okay, so I'm gonna use Hula Benefit um, bronzer with this Laura Mercier. It's just a contour brush. I'm just going to press it into where I want it to be. And yeah, I do want it to look like a shadow, so I don't know why I said so. I don't know if I was going to finish that sentence. I am so happy. I love this brush. Normally when I go to buy beauty products, I know exactly what I want by the time I've got into the shop, but the weekend I just went in with the idea that I wanted something new and I didn't know what I wanted and I didn't actually have any Laura Mercier products before so that's where I headed okay I like it so now I'm gonna put my brush in my brush collection now I'm gonna do blusher and the brush the brush blush why is everything called the same thing the blush I'm loving is my Dior Rosy Glow, I believe it's called, yep, yeah, that I got for Christmas. Did good. This is really natural, so you don't have to worry about using too much of this. Okay, did I use too much? Kind of on the apple of the cheek, and then like a bit into the bronzer. I'm actually gonna blend it out with the brush that I used for the bronzer, just so that I can kind of blend them together and have more of a bronzed blush. For highlights, I'm gonna use my Sigma F35 Tapered Highlighter Brush and my MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. I can't show you with the lid off because I've smashed it because I am ridiculously clumsy and I smash every bit of makeup that I have. This is a daytime look, so I don't want it to be too, too highlighted. So I'm gonna leave it there, and I'm happy. I'm gonna use Carmex! I just love Carmex, I'm kind of addicted to it. I love the smell, it's cherry. I just love putting it on, I feel so like, fiddly. Perfect, darling. So that's the finished look. Um, I feel much better now, much more awake, much brighter. Oh, my light just came on. Yeah, this is my go-to look at the moment, especially in the morning when I'm waking up and I feel very tired. So I'm gravitating towards a pinky nude matte with a bit of brightness to it. I am loving this Laura Mercier powder. I haven't used it before, so that's really exciting. And yes, I hope you like it and I hope you... Um, I hope you like it and if you do, subscribe to my channel. It's... <laughs> Oh, yes!